There is no doubt that Director Hertel has possessed significant experience in public policy, specifically in health policy. We listened to hours of committee testimony in the Advice and Consent Committee, and she was a top official of the Department of Health and Human Services throughout this pandemic. And she did generously provide hours of testimony during the advice and consent hearing, and we did learn much. We did learn that director stands in lockstep with the Whitmer Gordon era nursing home policies, business and school shutdown orders, and failures to properly engage the private sector to solve these challenges. We learned that the director believes unelected bureaucrats can continue to er issue these orders for years without the approval of this body, of the legislature, and she opposes a regional approach. Despite repeated questions by myself and committee members, she was unable to explain the science and data behind the administration's decisions and failed to share the matrix and guidelines for the pathway ahead to reopen the state. Disappointingly, she struggled to identify any real mistakes by the administration over the last year from which they could learn and improve. No mistakes involving nursing homes, no mistakes involving the administration rejecting Michigan-made, FDA-approved testing supplies during the outset of the pandemic, no mistakes involving giving former Director Gordon $155,000 payout. I understand that experience matters. I understand that this is probably the most pragmatic choice that the governor could probably select. But I do know that a year later into this pandemic, I'm not seeing the relief that's needed for my business owners, for my small business owners, for the folks uh, changing the course of where the administration has been on this and where the governor has pushed the state. So I do believe that the people of Michigan do deserve a fresh start at the Department of Health and Human Services.